28 species of acacia trees and shrubs. Acacia koa is endemic to the Hawaiian Islands and is one of the most common trees in the state. Sometimes known as Hawaiian mahogany, the tree's wood is prized for making guitars, surfboards, and outrigger canoes. Mature trees also serve as a habitat for local birds and insects. Another very closely related species found on the island is Acacia koaia, which are commonly called koaia or koaie. They are quite similar, and some botanists classify them as the same species. Creeping wattle, sometimes known as blue leaf wattle, can be a large shrub, a single trunk tree, or multi-stem tree. This is a species that has phyllodes instead of leaves, which with this plant can take the appearance of willow leaves. The species can become invasive because the seeds are picked up by ants and birds that move them to new locations where the seeds can easily sprout. Late flowering black wattle grows as either a tall shrub or a small tree. Long spikes of bright yellow ball-shaped flowers appear in winter and spring. Previously, this plant was categorized as Acacia cunninghami. Lightwood, also known as scrub wattle or hickory wattle, is an open, long-lived shade tree with rough grayish bark and twisted seed pods. It can grow as a single trunk or multiple trunk tree, and it can colonize into groves by spreading through suckers. It is very similar to, and sometimes mistaken for, blackwood, Acacia melanoxylon. Sometimes referred to as a hickory tree, it is not a true type of hickory, as those belong to the Caria genus. The wood can be used to make furniture. This is a fast-growing, low-to-medium-sized shrub. As the common and species name hint, the myrtle wattle's phyllodes are much like the leaves of the myrtle. The flowers are light yellow or white. It features red stems that can help add color to your yard throughout the entire year and contribute to its other common name, red-stemmed wattle. This is another former member of the acacia genus that was recategorized into the Vachelia genus. True to its common name, the flat top acacia has a notably flattened crown. The bark is reddish-brown and the leaves are bipinnate, about 11 inches long. It blooms with white, puffy balls. Oven's wattle is an extremely fast-growing evergreen shrub or small tree with a weeping habit that is especially striking when the plant is covered in its bright yellow blooms. It is sometimes known as wedge-leaved wattle. This species received the award of garden merit from the Royal Horticultural Society. Acacia verticulata is a fast-growing arching shrub that can be trained into a small tree. Prickly Moses has sharp phyllodes that form around its stems in whorls. The name Moses derives from the name Mimosa, not the biblical figure. Another acacia species, Acacia pulchella, is also known by the name Prickly Moses. Prostrate acacia, sometimes known as trailing acacia, can be found covering hillsides in Southern California. It is one of the smallest species of acacia and works well as a ground cover because it can blanket an area quickly, it has been planted along many freeways. This growth habit, however, means that it tends to be invasive in some areas. Desert carpet is a favorite cultivar for ground cover use. This species is a small bushy tree with leathery green leaves that turn reddish in winter. Both the red phyllodes and stems help the red leaf wattle stand out during the winter, an alternate common name for this plant is red-stemmed wattle. The yellow flowers are shaped like balls and are clustered around the stems. Another former member of the acacia genus, this plant was reassigned to the Vachelia genus, a decision that remains in dispute. If you take a look at the species name, you might guess correctly that this plant is found near the Nile River, leading to its common name. Other common names include gum arabic tree, prickly acacia, and thorn mimosa. The plant held medicinal benefits for the Egyptians, as well as serving as a source of lumber. Silver wattle is one of the larger acacias and has garnered an award of garden merit from the Royal Horticultural Society. Sometimes called mimosa or blue wattle, this is a very fast-growing tree that produces very showy ball-shaped flowers in late winter and spring. It does well outside of its native zone in warmer locations, having naturalized in the Mediterranean regions of southern Europe. 
As the species and common names of box leaf or box leaved wattle suggest, the phyllodes on this shrub are similar to those of the boxwoods Buxus spp. This is one of the hardier species of acacia, tolerating temperatures down to 19 degrees F. This slender shrub or small tree naturally occurs by the Snowy River in Australia. It is sometimes called Borman acacia. This plant quickly spreads by suckering, and is a good shrub for dry coastal areas, as it tolerates both salty conditions and drought. The phyllodes on spreading wattle, also known as early wattle, are similar to the leaves of plants in the Genista genus. It features lemon yellow or cream blossoms. You can use several of these shrubs to create an informal hedge. You can use the spike wattle to form a living fence through approach grafting. The flowers are yellow and shaped like a cylinder. You can also use these shrubs to form a hedge. Its prickly growth habit serves as a good deterrent to intruders. This is another of the wattles that is sometimes known as prickly moses. This species, also known as blunt leaf wattle, is a small tree form. It is closely related to A. longifolia, coastal wattle, by the resin along the margins of the stiff leaf wattles phyllodes. This shrub has cream-colored flowers that bloom early and give off a sweet perfume. Another common name is sweet-scented wattle. The bark is smooth and purplish in color. A coastal native, this is a plant with good tolerance for salty conditions. This species can be anywhere from a small shrub to a 50-foot tall tree. The wood is used for firewood, charcoal, and fence posts. This is a long-lived plant with very deep roots that allow it to survive dry drought conditions. The umbrella thorn acacia tree forms a canopy shaped like an umbrella. The wood can be used for furniture, fences, charcoal, and firewood. Some believe this was the species used to build the Ark of the Tabernacle in the Bible. This another long-lived, deep-rooted plant roots have been known to penetrate to a depth of 170 feet. This makes the umbrella thorn an excellent plant for drought conditions. This tree, also known as weeping acacia, is one of the most attractive of all acacia species. It features elegantly drooping branches and silvery blue phyllodes. The blossoms are light yellow, and the fissured bark is gray or dark brown. The coastal wattle, also known Sydney Golden Wattle, can tolerate deer, salt, and drought and can be used to create a living fence. Green and yellow dyes can be made from the seeds and flowers, respectively. In some areas, it can become invasive. After a period of establishment, the espinillo shrub or small tree, often called melina, can withstand periods of drought. The wood is used for firewood, charcoal, and lumber. The lovely yellow blossoms are fragrant and used as a scent in perfumes. Also known as white wattle, this acacia shrub has phyllodes that are similar to flax leaves. The flowers are cream or light yellow in color and may appear in both summer, which is December to March in the southern hemisphere, and winter, June to September. In some areas, it can take over and become invasive. Gum from the green wattle tree can be eaten and is used in jellies. The flowers are also edible. The bark can be used for tanning. In South Africa, it is considered to be invasive and has earned the nickname, Green Cancer. This plant sometimes is called by the common name Early Black Wattle. Occasionally called Prickly Moses, the Juniper Wattle is a thorny species that can be used as a privacy hedge. The flowers can be either cream or white. The species name, Ulcifolia, suggests that the phyllodes on this shrub are similar to the leaves of Gorsk Ulex. Previously, it was known as Acacia juniperina. The kangaroo thorn can be used as a hedge, thanks to its thorny stems that inhibit passage. The plant is also called prickly wattle or hedge wattle in some regions. This shrub works well in coastal areas, as it can tolerate salty conditions. It is regarded as invasive in some areas, including Australia, South Africa, and California. You may also see this name categorized as Acacia armata, Raycosperma armata, or Mimosa paradoxa. Karoo thorn, also known as sweet thorn, was classified as an acacia until 2009, when it was reassigned into a different genus. It closely related, however, and is still considered an acacia by many people. V. Karoo can be either a shrub or a small tree. It has true leaves that are pinnately compound, consisting of rows of leaflets. 
The wood can be used for fences, firewood, and charcoal. It is an aggressive plant rarely used in landscaping. It is considered to be a weed in Australia, but the gum provides food for bush babies during the winter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.